Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of Maverick Hunter X. And and we have beat the first two bosses and the first stage of the game. But there is but I do have to come back to this specific stage to get specific items that I need. So let's do that really quickly. Why don't we show shotgun nice along the way? Now, shotgun ice is not very effective, really. It does it does do the things that it shoots, but other than that, it's it's more it's more uh, kind of just uh, things you use for the boss that it that it is that is weak to it, and then you never use it again, which is kind of a weird thing of Mega Man X, really. Like, well, that was kind of a weird thing of some Mega Man games is that there are some items that just kind of don't end up being adequate at the end of the day. So as you notice here, the lava has obviously been frozen <laughs> because we beat Chill Penguin. Some boss, so beating certain bosses can't affect certain levels in a sense. And me beating Chill Penguin has gotten me this water, uh, this this frozen frozen lava type thing, which is pretty cool. And under here, there should be the heart canister. And there's an increase of health for us. We could also go ahead and get the sub tank now. Now that we have the helmet that breaks blocks. So. We break blocks with our head, and that's that's all it's used for. <laughs> and this is a sub tank. So in order to fill up a sub tank, well, what it does essentially is when we use the sub tank, it basically gives us the amount of health that is in the sub tank. And to fill it up, we need to we need to get get health health regen items while we already have full health. So we can't get it while we're damaged, or else it's just gonna heal us. So I'm gonna continue along to the end of the level to show you what happens if we have already beaten a Mega Man, uh, a Mega Man boss. Well, a boss, a Maverick, per se. If you've already beaten the Reploid, <laughs> I know I'm calling it different things, but yeah, that's essentially what it is. That's a really weird continuity error. The really hot lava thing just still drips out of the pipes even though they're literally blue. <laughs> I always found that kind of weird, but eh, not gonna, not gonna, not gonna question it. Looks really cool though, doesn't it? Anyways, I wonder what happens if we go to the boss when the when we already beat it. We just we just go back to the stage select. It doesn't do much. So, on to the next stage of the game. So, I'm going to do 3 levels. And the next person that is weak to shotgun ice is Spark Mandrill. Now I am gonna show um, I am gonna try and show you guys what he does, but that's gonna be really hard for me because I never actually fight him in the technically legitimate way. Because what everyone really does with Spark Mandrill is that when Shotgun Ice actually hits Spark Mandrill, he freezes in place for a while until his invulnerability frames basically end, and. What a lot of people end up doing because of it is just soft lock him in place until he dies. I could show you footage of what, what that would look like, but... Yeah, I might not bother. I'm just kidding, I'll definitely show some footage. Because it is kind of hilarious when it happens. Oh, another free man. Look at that. Yeah. 
This mini boss right here, he kind of shoots bubbles that kind of get you stuck when you walk on them. He shoots a laser. Shoots bubbles, jumps around, damages you and hit. You know, that kind of thing. He charges up when he needs to. He's kind of hard to avoid on account of the fact that the ceiling's a little bit low enough to where if you try to jump over him, you get hit. Which is mildly irritating, I will say. And he is dead. He is dead, folks, and he gave me basically nothing. <laughs> Love that. Ah, thank goodness for more health, boys. <laughs> we did it. More health. Oh yeah, I love these things. They shoot missiles at you. There's another heart capsule there, but I I, I, I can't get it. Why, why can't I get it? Well, we're going to need a specific weapon for that later. Basically just another ability you can get on your on your guy by beating a boss. It's nice, but it's also kind of annoying because then you'd have to backtrack and stuff like that. Alright. I hate this part just because of the fact that it just annoys me to death. But hey, it's a nice place to farm though. Kind of. <laughs> If you have a good reflex. Don't overshoot that, that'd be kind of bad. Alright. Let's get started. X, you showed up. Spark Mandrel! Do us both a favor and surrender peacefully. I don't think so, X. Oppose me and I'll crush you. Sounds like you've gone maverick. Your time has come, Spark Mandrel. I'm not the smartest guy around, X, but I have a feeling that Sigma is right. <laughs> Okay, so what he tried to do there was he tried to drill into a wall, and uh, since I froze him in place, he kind of just didn't get to do it. When he drills the wall, the wall you're climbing ends up the wall you climbing ends up getting uh, ends up getting shaken, and you get shaken off of the wall, and then you get hit by him. He also jumped up to the ceiling to try and just kind of go do some funny maneuvers to drop down on you and stuff. He also just do does a regular jump. Sparks the ground. That's what the soft locking looks like. I don't know if he has any other moves, and I'm kind of scared to do so. I could probably pull it off better, but... Oh, that's the boss for you. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to save state this after all. And, uh, I'll make sure to delete the save state, just so people don't think I'm crazy. How do I delete a save state? <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out. Um. Accomplished. Oh, yeah. As you see there, it's a pretty cool weapon. It's not bad, per se, but it's still not good.
So let's go to, let's go to, uh, Armored Armadillo stage. Alright, this is what it does. Well, so it kind of goes into a wall and then just kind of goes up the wall and hopefully it damages enemies along the way. Hey, at least it can one shot these guys. I could have pulled that off so much better than I did there, but. really using fire wave a lot just because it's a good weapon. Sub tank. Um the the thing that was driving towards me before I killed it, <laughs> which I kinda didn't want to intend to do, um typically the 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 the, the the what is it? The thing that it rolls around, the spikes on it, they do insta kill you, so best to try and avoid that unless you're skilled. With the fire, with the fire, or something like that. These blocks right here, normally that thing really destroys all of them. It's kind of just one of those stage gimmicks that you end up seeing every now and again, and when they break them, it kind of just like removes access to stuff like this, you know? Getting health capsules, getting health regen, that kind of thing. And eventually, once it reaches the end, it just kind of dies where the spike pit is. That's really its only purpose. It's just a stage gimmick, is all. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, spikes are insta-kill, no matter what you do. <laughs> Also, another thing that I really didn't really like about the whole Mega Man X thing is the fact that, you know, him screaming the name of the weapon he's using. Fire Wave! Fire Wave! Like, I'd be hella- God damn you. I hate- I hate your existence, you know that? You ruin everything, but. Alright, let me actually use this. That's really cool. Really cool gameplay. But, uh, anyway. Okay, kill this thing before we lose access to the heart canister. Okay. Yeah, basically all it does is just destroy these things. The ones with rocks in them, they kind of just stun it a little bit before it continues to break it. And there's a heart canister. Boop. If we didn't kill that thing, we wouldn't have had access to it. Alright, here's the last part of the level. Hmm, this area is awfully mysterious. Huh. Eh, we'll come back here later. Alright. Well, I'm definitely gonna die at Spark Mandrel's stage, so... Not Sp Did I just say Spark Mandrel? Sorry, Armored Armadillo. More like Armored Armadildo, am I right, guys? I am under strict orders to protect this mine. You don't need to take orders from someone like Sigma. He's insane. Open your eyes, Armored Armadillo. Whether he's insane or not, it's not my place to judge him. I must obey. Looks like you've got Maverick. I'm taking you out. Enough talk. I'm ready to obey my orders. Enough talk. Let's fight. What a lawful guy. <laughs> and X, meanwhile, he's like, You've got Maverick! 
<laughs> just sounds, it just doesn't sound very great, but, um, that shield that he has, okay, let's take a minute here, so, that shield that I kind of just rubbed off there, any weapon that you use on him except for electric shield bounces off of him, well, technically not, technically every weapon b bounces off of him, but he does have an, a vulnerability area when he's not rolled up in a ball. And you have to hit him when he's not in ball form. And um, when he gets hit when he gets hit with the electric spark, all of his shields come off so that he's completely vulnerable to anything. Okay, this move, I really hate this move because it's kind of randomized. It's just kind of him shooting a bunch of shit. I hate shit, so uh, you can kind of guess why I hate this guy. <laughs> Anyways, let's try to make better gameplay. <laughs> I can't wait to see my live counter completely die in the top left corner. <laughs> nope, I'm not letting this happen to me. I'm using a sub tank. No! No, you absolute... No, not again! You know what? I'm... I, I'm so noobish for this. Oh my god! That was terrible! I hate- this is my least favorite uh, 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 Mega Man X boss ever. Just because of that! I hate it! I hate it all. <laughs> I hate it all. Anyways, we get Rolling Shield! Again, another one of those things that are uh, only really useful for the boss that ends up uh, that you end up fighting. All right, next stage. God, that was a nightmare. All right, launch octopus. Now I have to get all that health back, unless I don't have to use any of the shields. Launch octopus. Damn, he really did the. I'm. <laughs> he really pointed at you with his uh, launcher thingy. And then says, you're going down, lol. Oh yeah. The whole thing about me with, uh... So, I can't really use any of my, um, powers in this level. Well, I can't use specific powers in this level, because it's, it's water. I can't use water, I can't use flame and water, because of obvious, obvious things. So, I'm basically stuck with the basic, I'm going to shoot you, uh, method. There you go. Alright, here's our first mini boss. He just kind of blows you in. I really want him to use that light. No, oh, stop using annoying things. Please die already. Thank God. I wouldn't have wanted to die from that guy of all things. I, I hate you. When those things suck you in, they do drain your health after a while though. 
So not completely dangerous, but... You know, when he does this, it's kind of annoying, because then you get sucked in multiple people. Please. Thank God. Alright. I don't like those guys. Do the light thing. I like the light thing, actually. As much as people like to destroy it, in this game, I actually kind of like having it like that. Because then I just kind of have to charge... I, I let him charge, and then I can shoot behind me. Oh, don't touch the spikes! When you're invulnerable, you don't die to it, but... Other than that, you can kind of get destroyed by them really easily. Almost dying a lot, huh? These things are pretty explanatory, they just kinda bring you up. And there's a giant health thing there, which is nice. I wonder. Look at that, I'm a gamer. But anyway, <laughs> that doesn't have to do with anything. But, uh. Huh. What is this? Well, it's just a giant sub, and it kind of spits out these really annoying grabby things that kind of grab you and then, I think, explode. So you just kind of have to wait for his health bar to go to red and then have it explode. The, the thing also kind of shoots missiles half of it a lot, which are also really annoying. And it died. Ooh, secret base. Ooh, look at this. And then there's this really annoying thing that takes forever to kill. It just kind of just goes around. It doesn't... It can't really hurt you. It can't really hurt you too much. Um, because it doesn't do... It, 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 like, the only thing that really hurts you is just the head and tail. You can actually go on top of the body if you wanted to. I don't want to because I'm too... Uh, I'm kind of paranoid. Um, this entire room, the only... The, the purpose of this room is really just to hide the capsule. The next heart capsule you have to get. Kind of kind of interesting, but... Eh. There you go. Alright, go across this uh, weird, weirdly placed spikes. And heart capsule, let's go. Actually, now that I think of it, yeah, no. It, the health bar goes longer than the, um, than the ammo, than the ammo, uh, the ammo, uh, what is it called? The ammo bar. I don't know what it actually is called, I just call it the ammo bar. But, uh, yeah, it's, it goes a little bit longer than the ammo bar. And just another one of these, but the quirk with this one is that he does dig into the ground. Which just makes, honestly, it just makes the fight last longer. And there you go. Uh, you can you can climb on top of this thing, which is kind of cool. I I like this thing only for the only for that really. Other than that, this thing is just tedious to fight. Please, die already. No, I got hit by him. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. No, I've never seen that before. God. Okay, sorry about that. There was just a uh, interruption. You absolute mongoloid. There you go. All right. 
Well, time to fight this boss. Your antics stop here, Launch Octopus. I only take orders from Sigma. There's no way I'll let you boss me around. Face it, you've gone maverick. Maverick? How dare you call my artistic battle style by that name? All right, here's Launch Octopus. He just kind of shoots annoying missiles. Some being homing, some being not. Oh, so he also does a weird suction thing where he sucks you in and steals your health. He is... He is cocked up by the, um, rolling shield. And you can kind of, uh... You can kind of just... I've kind of showed you most of the moves that he offers. He does become invulnerable when he does that move specifically. I love his very, uh, I call it epic behavior. <laughs> Even my explosion is beautiful. But, um, uh, Okay, the the regular missiles he shoots. Uh, let's let's actually show this weapon first. Uh, we have this. It just kind of shoots um, missiles that home in on enemies. Doesn't do a lot of damage though, which is kind of sucks. But um, his moves uh, they had two different types of missiles. He had one that just kind of shoots from a certain direction. And he also had missiles that are also homing. And that's really the only weird quirk that he has, other than the suction thing. Anyway, that is it for our current episode of Mega Man X. And uh yeah, we'll continue then we'll continue we'll continue playing this uh next time. So yeah. Again, the next episode is gonna be pre recorded again, so don't expect any comments. Don't expect me reading comments. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah.